Irvin Carvery was in this van when shots rang out Saturday night. He immediately dropped to the floor of the vehicle, worried he was in the line of fire. At least 20 shots went off, and it was back and forth, so it wasn't in one direction. So it was, it was pretty scary. Families who are leaving today are still thinking of the five people who were wounded, and in particular, the teenager who may have sustained life-changing injuries. There was one young lady who uh, unfortunately got hit in the neck, and what I understand is that uh, the, the bullet lodged near her spine, and they couldn't, uh, they couldn't operate to remove it. She's going to survive, he says, but the violence that happened here is going to lead to changes. Security measures have never been considered before because they've never been needed. But after this, organizers want police to do a safety audit. We have a responsibility for the safety of everyone who comes out here. So we need to take a look at how can we better secure this location. Some people come here every year for the reunion and are upset the place that's special to them was turned into a crime scene. Some traveled from across the country to be here. For me, uh, Africville is its home. Uh, I've come from Alberta, uh, from high level Alberta, to be here. Anthony Sparks' grandfather owned a general store in Africville. This was his daughter Ashley's first time at the reunion. It's very disappointing because this is her first time here in Africville meeting her people. And for this to happen, she can't meet all of them now because they're all gone now. They've left because of this tragedy that's happened here. Police who spent most of Sunday in the park want anyone with information or video to contact them as they continue to try to find those involved. Meanwhile, Irvin Carvery says those responsible are not from Africville and has called an emergency meeting of his board to talk about what needs to happen next. But he's determined this event that's now been running 41 years will continue in the same spirit. We're not going to allow that incident to define who we are as a people. Gareth Hampshire, CBC News, Halifax.